y'all. This shit is literally crazy. Oh my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, social media has been caught a blaze over what um, Simone Biles, who is um, the Olympic um, gold medalist, um, multiple time Olympic gold winner up in recent Olympics, um, has basically said in regards to the picnic that has been hosted by current football player, former football NFL players, um, basically speaking about football and other forms of life. And for those of y'all that don't even know who Jonathan Owens is, Jonathan Owens is currently the starting safety, the star safety for the Green Bay Packers of the NFL. And yes, um, Mr. and Mrs. Owens, um, Mrs. Simone Biles Owens, has basically married as of recent. When Jonathan Owens was on the pivot, he was basically discussing on um, how... Um, him and Simone basically got together. Actually, uh, one of the posts from Twitter actually brought that, brought that up. And he basically responded and said, hey, you know, we basically met earlier. I wasn't really focused too much into a Simone like that. And he basically views himself as the cats. I know in his own opinion, he claimed that men were the cats. And Simone basically shot her shot at him. And she was the one mainly chasing him. And y'all, ever since Jonathan said that, social media literally went... A blaze. And my question to those that are heavily concerned on um, Mr. and Mrs. Owens is this. Why are you so thoroughly concerned about their love life? And also, let's not fo let's focus on what hasn't been thoroughly up in the press, have been thoroughly up in the press, hasn't been thoroughly popularized, but was also part of the interview as well. There's a lot of stuff that we know none of behind the scenes on how Jonathan and Simone actually elevated their relationship to the way that it is now. But yet a lot of people don't even focus on that that much. I'm actually deeply concerned about the comments that um, Jonathan Owens has made. Has he directly sit up in your DMs? Has he ever actually tried to make a holler at you in any way? Why should you be thoroughly concerned if he doesn't really thoroughly know you that way at all? If you want to be showered, if you want to be heavily praised, if you want to really be worshipped from the ground up, that's fine. That's within your rights. There's plenty of men that are literally willing to do that. Why should you be concerned about him if he hasn't really focused on you that much? And to the dudes that are actually concerned about what Jonathan Owens has said, why should you also be concerned about what he said? Are you, are you trying to actually are you trying to come at his wife or his girl? Or are you looking to blow him off? Are you willing to really sweep your knees, sweep your legs literally under a rug and actually literally try to kowtow just to try to get Simone? That's what I'm literally trying to figure out. Now, what I learned and what the moral of the whole entire story is this. Relationships of any form are never a one-size-fits-all approach. And this is coming from a dude who has very strong background in engineering and mathematics. And actually has to like learn more about the grades, thinking that everything used to be black when I was, I was young. But it's not as fully black and white as you think it is. Everyone has their own different tastes. Every person has their own different preferences, has their own different mindset, and they evolve at very different rates within one another. What happened with John and Simone, if that situation doesn't fully, fully apply to you, and it not really fully apply to your life like that, let it fly. Has Simone Gloss ever reached to any one of y'all DMs, you know, that come by as he trying to swoop her up to the rescue? Had Simone Biles known many of y'all personally? Has he known many of y'all? Please, and I repeat, please stop worrying about what other folks have got going on up in their lives or whatever relationship has got going on in their lives and start focusing on your own stuff and worry about you and your partner as a couple and what y'all are currently doing right now. Don't be worried about when they're going to break up. Don't be worried about when they're going to divorce because all of that stuff is none of your business. Now, if it does happen, it's very unfortunate. Wish the both of them well, but elsewise, not my problem. Don't know. Don't care. Leave folks alone and let them live their lives and how they want to live it. If you don't want to live those lives the way that Simone and Jonathan are living, that's fine. That's your right. I fully respect that. But don't be harassing folks and giving all these other opinions on all these different views if they haven't lived up in your shoes and they haven't got up in your business. If y'all aren't even related within that person, worry about yourselves. I'm done, man. Crazy, crazy juicy sit up in these streets, man. Mm-mm-mm.